Thanks for joining us, America. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Common sense for your dollars and cents. Dara is with us in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Dara. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thank you very much. I'm doing great. Um, I'm very grateful to be getting on the show. Uh, I am a victim of identity theft by like forty or fifty thousand, and I'm a school teacher. So I filed for bankruptcy back in October, and now <clears throat> I'm. <sighs> I filed for bankruptcy, and... Why did you file then, for bankruptcy? Because I didn't know anything else to do. I went to the police. I went... I I, I was just super overwhelmed, and I've been dealing with identity theft for two to three years, and it just seemed like a dead end that no one knows what to do. When I, um, when I went to the police, they're like, you need to bring this document. Oh, you need to bring this document. You need to bring this document. It was so long, the identity theft. My uh, father actually used my credit card, my Social Security number, when I was in college and when I was living outside the home, and he would actually get credit cards taken out under my name, unbeknownst to me, because I wasn't living at home at the time, and I was working and going to school and stuff like that. And That's a special kind of scum that does that to their own kid. No doubt, no doubt, especially being a school teacher. So I, I was just always paycheck to paycheck and stuff like that, and... Gosh, I wish I'd have gotten a hold of you because you didn't owe any money. You weren't bankrupt. You just had a problem. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now you I filed was... bankruptcy back last year, right? Correct. Okay, so where are you today? How can I help? So I am two. When I was filing for bankruptcy, I, um, they said, oh, you don't need to pay. Since you're in the bankruptcy court, you don't need to pay your car payments um, while you're in the bankruptcy court. You're protected. That's what the car company said, and that's also what the bankruptcy lawyer told me. I said, okay, I want to retain my car. So I'm in a lease right now, which eventually I want to own one day, my little junker car. And um, But right now I'm in a lease, and I'm two car ma- payments behind. I'm a phone bill behind. I'm a car insurance behind. I'm like, one month behind, like, almost all essential utilities and stuff like that. Why? But, why, are you, um, why are you behind? Because I had to pay those two car payments, oh. um, like, right away because the bankruptcy um, okay. lawyer... Did, did, you file a chap- did you file a Chapter 7? Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, he and didn't so, lie. You're not supposed to pay the payments while you're in there, but you needed to have saved them up, and you didn't. I did not because so they said they were a, just, yeah, they yeah. said it was going to be put on the back end of my lease. And I said, okay, that's no. fine. I'll just stay in the lease. And so it was miscommunication on the car company. And then I was using that money to okay. kind so of get ahead. Okay, so today you're out of the bankruptcy. All the Correct. identity theft is behind you because of the right. bankruptcy. And right. the car is current. And you're one month behind on some other stuff. I'm two car payments behind. Um, Again, and so I don't, and I'm teacher, so I'm paycheck to paycheck. Oh, wait, wait, stop! How far behind were you? Just two car payments, almost uh, three, where I was going to get repoed. But then I took, I extended my phone bill, I extended my car insurance each by a month. So now I'm playing catch up constantly. And I just don't know where okay, to start. I'm confused. I thought you got behind because you caught the car up. No. Okay. No, where did the, the money go? The car, where did the, the car, money go that you were making when you weren't paying car payments? It went to regular daily living of. I'm. I'm only. There's never. It's only like an extra three hundred. How much a is month, your car so payment? Three twenty. And what is your household income? About twenty five hundred a month. Okay. And how much is your rent? Uh, Eight forty. And how much is left on this car lease? Um, probably about a year, 2019. Okay. All right, good. All right. What we need to do is we need to prioritize very, very carefully what you're going to pay and what you're not going to pay. Okay? Correct. It starts with food. You're going to buy food. And it's not yeah. eating out. It's eating at home. Beans and rice, rice and beans. Okay? Then yeah. the second thing we're going to do is we're going to get current on the utilities. Okay. Before you do anything else. Utilities okay. are not cable TV. Utilities are water and gas and electricity. That's all I have now. Okay, good. Are you current on those? I'm one month behind in uh, the utilities. I'm always getting like a $10 late fee assessed. Okay. You're, so you're going to buy food out of this next check. You're going to get current on your utilities. Okay. Then you're going to pay your rent. Okay, yes. Then we're going to work on the car payment and the car gasoline. Okay. And anybody else, do you, do you owe anything else after the bankruptcy? Um, just uh, about 250 each month I pay to uh, fel- uh, friends and relatives, 250 in total. 
each month. T- to cell phone and relatives? No, to family and friends, 250 each month. I got on a $25 a month payment plan. It so helped the me. people that loaned you money, yeah, you're repaying. $25, How yeah. much do you owe them? Um, 500 each. Okay, good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so um, if we take 2500 right. minus a $300 car payment, minus an $800 rent, minus food, minus lights and water, I've still got money. Okay. You follow me? Yeah, car insurance is 100 Okay. Um, but that's down the list, okay? Right. You're going to eat first. We're going to get current on the lights eat. and water. we got to okay. catch this. we got to stay, cut, keep the rent current. So okay. food, shelter, clothing, transportation, and utilities before you do anything else. Food, shelter, i got clothing. No. And then it's like, like sixth grade civics class in the old days. Yeah, Necessities. I, like the old day yeah. I miss the old day teaching, yes. I am yeah. a teacher. And so Good. the basic stuff, right? Okay. Right. And a written game plan that you stick to because what's happening to you is you've gotten into a tailspin and um, you're like dizzy bat. You know, you ever play that where you put your head down on a bat and spin around in youth group or something until you fall over because you're dizzy? Yeah, that's how I feel. That's that's exactly what you're doing because what happens is is you, you run over to one thing and you step on it and then you run over the other thing and you step on it and then you run over to another thing and you step on it and nothing ever seems to get done because it's just all stress related and impulse and emotion driven decision making. Mm-hmm. And so the things that are very, very important don't get done. The things that are squeaky do get done. Mm-hmm. And, and it feels very, very, very out of control to you and listening to you, you sound out of control. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I want you to get like real methodical and cold hearted about this and walk through taking care of Dara, okay. food, food, lights okay. and water, rent, get the car current, call the friends and say, not this month. I'll start again next month. Okay. I got to get my car current. Okay. You know, if something doesn't get paid, that's not a necessity. We'll get back around to it. Okay. But we're we're gonna you know you you've got the money to get around to it. But what's happening is is that you just you, you had three or four things hit you at once, and it, it's put you into this cycle, and it, and it's a stress decision making cycle, and it's 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 killing you, it's killing you emotionally, it's draining you emotionally, but it's also got your finances completely out of control too. So if you'll lay out a plan and just not give a rip about who's pissed, okay. but you take care of Dara first. Okay. You can work your way through this. The math you're giving me is not impossible. Okay. You didn't call me up with $5,000 a month in bills and $2,500 income. You call me up with $2,000 a month in bills and $2,500 income. But okay. you're behind the eight ball and you got to get back in front of it. So right. you can do this. This okay. is very, very doable. And keep talking to the car company. As a matter of fact, call them once a week and just pester the crap out of them uh, and remind them about how they screwed this up. Totally. Yeah. Just, 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 even if you can't send them money, send them hate. <laughs> okay. You know, just mess with them a little bit. Because, right. you know, eventually you might actually get a, uh, a supervisor on the phone in collections who does roll that payment onto the back, and that would help a bunch. That would. Okay. Good but if idea. you don't, if you don't, you can still turn this. And then the other okay. thing is, uh, I want you to start doing some tutoring. Okay. And, and pick up. Oh, through. yeah. I work, I work on the weekends. I do dog sitting, babysitting, and I also do. Okay, and I want you in Financial Peace University, our year-long subscription, and it it comes with a class and a kit, and I'm going to pay for it. I want you to go to the class. It's all free for me because I've been scared like you're scared. You can turn this around. If you need more help, you call me. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.